Hey there you lovely lot and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Ceci Bella, thanks for tuning in. Today's video we are off to a vintage pop-up market. This happens every so often around me and the last time I saw it I really really wanted to go in but you had to book tickets and it was all like booked in advance and you couldn't get in and I was so upset. And I saw a week ago that they are back in my sort of local area, I've got to travel a little bit and obviously got tickets all booked. I am so so excited to go and find some vintage finds and I love my vintage clothes and I wanted to do a vlog of my day today so if you are into that kind of thing I hope you enjoyed today's video make sure if you do to like subscribe hit that bell button so you don't miss out any future videos and let's go Hey lovelies, so we have just got back from our trip out, um, I absolutely loved it, kids not so much, I mean I got to book a time slot between 1 and 2, we got there for just over 1, maybe like 1.03 and then we literally left about 1.20. The venue was really small as you can see from the video it was so beautiful inside i mean it was just it was really amazing and um, but it, it was quite small and it just literally had rails going all the way through so half the side was women's clothes and the other half was men's clothes i did have a look for myself and my partner as well he does need like a new coat and i'm always looking out for a bargain anyway and i always find really lovely things for him in charity shops and things like that so i thought i'd find some stuff in there and um, he did have a look around as well and he couldn't find anything but i did find some things so before i show you what i got how it works um so basically you had to book a ticket to go there i got a ticket for me uh nick my partner don't know why i say don't know i don't know why i don't say his name but yeah nick um for ava and sam but i didn't get tickets for violet and sky just because i didn't think they'd need any because i had violet in a baby carrier and then i had sky in the pram so it's not like it was we were going there for them and they didn't do kiss clothes or anything like that so they were literally just i, did, I, did, I didn't think we did tickets for them but i did get them for ava and stan but um yeah so um you go in there you give your ticket in and they give you one of these bags um basically you fill the bags up and then you weigh it at the end and you pay how much um so basically one kilo was 20 pound and then but if if there was less than a kilo in there it would cost less and if there was more than a kilo in there it would cost more um they asked me how many bags i wanted i was about to say two but i thought no i'll just go with one because i know i can go a bit crazy for clothes but i thought if i get two i'm gonna try and fill up two and i just they would not have ended well so i got one i only spent 22 22 pound 50 as it was just over a kilo 
um i did find quite a few things in there there was some bits that i wanted to pick up but i didn't just because there was no changing room or anything in there i mean i did see people put things on top to try it on but things like jeans i couldn't really just take my jeans off in there and try them on it would have been a bit of a bad situation um so i i wanted to get a few pair of jeans but i i held myself back just because in case it didn't fit it's not like it's a shop and i can go and take it back um yeah, so jeans I stood away from. I did get some, uh, so I had a look at the dresses, their knitwear, their tops, and I did have a look at the skirts as well. I did pick up a few things. Like I said, I spent £22.50. I haven't tried anything on yet as we've literally just got back now. So I'm going to show you what I got. And then I'm going to pray to God that it fits me because it's only £22 and I have got quite a lot of stuff in there, but I'll be quite annoyed if it doesn't fit me. But I did go try and go for bigger sizes just in case that uh, it, it did come a bit small i did try and go big but let me show you what i got for some reason they left the hangers in there as well but i suppose i always do need new hangers so the first thing i got was this dress it's from a place called Free Mode Fashion For You and it is an extra large. I liked it because it was really nice and baggy and I had this vision of my in my head of wearing like a black jumper underneath and maybe my DMs as well. So that is how I'm going to try and style it out. But I just thought it was really cute. It's leopard print and it's got some flowers on it. I'm, I'm pretty certain this is going to fit me because I'm not an extra large. I'm not a size 2, but I'm not an extra large. So I'm pretty, pretty certain it is going to fit. But I just thought it was really cute. Really bold pattern as well. So it really stands out. I thought it was really nice. And like I said, it is an extra large. It's really nice. I thought maybe going into spring slash summer I could wear this. As it is a bit chilly at the moment but it is really cute and that is the first thing that i got the great thing as well in there you could literally go and have a look all around the rails and it had scales everywhere they had chairs i had to put ava and stand on the chairs because ava Erin does not like shopping whatsoever, but so she sat there, had something to eat, and just let me quickly run around. No reason why we didn't stay very long. Um, but they had scales all around as well, so you could literally keep an eye on what you were spending. I didn't do that. I probably should have done that. Um, but I thought that was a really, really good idea in case you had, like, a budget. That was the first thing I got. Second thing was this dress. I did quite I did get quite a lot of um florally patterns in there. I can't help myself, but this one was really cute. This one's quite a short dress though. Like a t shirt dress. It is a bit thicker, so I'm thinking cold weather with some tights underneath I can, and some boots, I could probably get away with this one. But I really like the florally pattern on this one, so cute. This one doesn't does it have a tag i think it has a tag on the side so it doesn't have a tag on the side it's been cut out so i cannot tell you what the size was but when i picked it up i think it's from a place called feeling lady that's what it says on the side but yeah when i picked it up it looked massive but I thought it looked really cute and I really liked the feel of material as well. I was trying to get something that I could wear now as well. That is the second thing that I bought. Next thing I got was a top. They also had some really amazing bargains in there. They had like proper well-known labels, like 
and you know you just put it in your bag and you could end up and like if you only bought one thing it was only going to cost you a couple of quid and it was from a well-known label and designer which i really really loved this one is my ralph lauren top these tops is something that my partner would wear and i always end up stealing them off him and wearing them to bed or putting them with jeans just i really like just like plain white casual tops and this one I thought was really really nice it is Ralph Lauren and it is a size medium so I'm thinking just to pair it up with some jeans on my casual days I thought it was really really cute just a plain white top and then obviously it's got its buttons at the front pretty thin I do tend to go for mediums in the shop anyway, so I think this is going to be okay. And I'll just sort with some jeans. Can't go wrong with a basic top and some jeans. That was the next thing I got. The last thing I got was a jumpsuit. The, the, the hangers come off it. And of course it is floral. I was, they had quite a few things in there for like spring slash summer and i really really liked this one i haven't really got any florally jumpsuits and i really like that it was a, a black background and the, the floor was so sort of like in your face kind of print really nice bold colors it does up with a zip on the back and if I can find the label, most of the clothes in there, by the way, um, didn't have labels in them. So I was literally like judging them, like picking them up, stretching them, making sure I think I would fit into them. I think this is one that didn't have any labels in there as well. Yeah, I think, see here, label's been cut out. But it was quite a big size. I did put it up against me. It did have a mirror in there. But that really weird. You have a mirror, but not like a section to try things on. So I can't wait to try it on. Definitely going to wear this when it's a bit warmer. And into the summer as well. You can't go wrong with jumpsuits anyway. They're really nice in the summer. I literally live in jumpsuits in the summer. I think I did more with Pregnant with Violet as well as... I did still fit into them and they're just super comfy anyway something just to throw on i love the the front bit of this the detail of how it does up at the front so it can't get it on camera properly but it overlaps each other and then it's got its nice frilliness at the front as well and that was the last thing I bought. So I bought four things. Well, I think that's too bad for £22. £22.50. I'm going to try it on now and hope, fingers crossed, they actually fit. Um, I had a really good time though. This is a vintage pop-up market. I have seen it before. I mean, I literally walked past it and I couldn't get in. And I've always tried to go back, but I could never see when they were coming back. And I literally found it like a week ago saying, oh, we're coming back in such and such areas. So I got my time slot, got my ticket and we went. Um, really recommend going if they do do it in your area too. I'm going to find the name of it. It literally got advertised on my Instagram. I think it was called like something vintage pop-up market but i will find it and i'll put it in a link below because they might do it in different areas too i'm always a sucker for a vintage market charity shops just i love my vintage clothes my retro clothes i'm always on the lookout for a bargain and i definitely feel that i got that today i'm gonna try with my clothes on now but i'm gonna say bye at the end of the end of this bit i will try them on fingers crossed it fits and um yeah, I'm just really, really scared it's not going to fit. I hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope you enjoyed seeing the vintage pop-up market. And um, if you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.